Look, Hobo, I know you want to be a cinematographer, your dreams are high. They're up here. But if your life was a movie, people would walk out on it. That's the truth. You gotta face the truth, face the facts. I make a lot of videos trashing Micro Four Thirds, and for some reason, black magic never occurs to me as a Micro Four Thirds camera. So let's talk about the black magic and their cinematography dreams, and why I never mention them, or dream, or aspire to have them. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. If you're of the curious type, you may realize that we are on the glory system of all whores. All whore mothers reach to a focal point, and it's this camera. We're on the Sony A7S III. Oh my god. What you are witnessing right now is the very definition of overkill. Not needed. I could do this whole thing on a Sony X2000, and I want to. I'm gonna buy one. It doesn't exist. Let's get to the notes. So when I'm talking about Micro Four Thirds, for some reason, it's always just Panasonic Olympus, because those are cameras. Black Magic is in a different category, even though they're making what I want, a video-centric camera entirely designated to my life. So we'll get into what my opinion is of all the pros and the cons of a Black Magic system, but the reason I don't even really consider them is because they're all about image quality and zero usability and i'm way on that side of the fence let's not forget i started this channel in thailand so i was like a traveler i had nothing i had a backpack and a suitcase full of stuff i could go anywhere so i wanted light gear that i could just take with me that's why the sony x3000 i fell in love with the thing it's just like pocketable most of my show is just this it doesn't actually take a lot of technology to accomplish it so we may have overshot the stars on that one, but thank you Camera Canada for accommodating my much unnecessary wants in life. Let's all go to Camera Canada tonight. They make cake. So as a YouTube hobo, I put usability ahead of everything. Just good autofocus, flippy screen, nice stabilization if you're going outside. It should be simple, and then you can make lots of videos and you're having fun. But you complicate things with manual focus lenses and no flippy screen. How do you, oh, mirror hacks and, oh, stable, oh, let's get a gimbal now. Oh, balance that. Oh, let's switch lenses. Oh, well, let's balance it again. I've always been about simplicity. That's why I want the Sony X4000 so bad. Something upgraded, a little tiny thing, pocketable. Where is it? GoPro is so unreliable, I'm scared to even use that thing when it comes. What video will I lose next? That's my only worry in life. But if that's your only worry, you're doing good, my friend. As Mr. Rogers once said, come to my neighborhood, and I'll let you in. He never said anything like that. So in my opinion, the black magic systems are entirely just focused on the best image quality, which is nice. I love the image. You couldn't get better. We'll talk about it. But at the sacrifice, of having fun and actually be able to use the camera by yourself. That's a big deal. So let's talk about the image quality for a second. Raw, amazing. You can push the files, change the white balance. It's like, what a dream. Of course, I would love it if Sony had raw. I ain't getting a Ninja 5 on there and complicating my life just to get raw. This is the simplicity factor. You can just hook it up. I think the Blackmagic Pocket 4K might even surpass the Sony a7S III in dynamic range somehow. I don't know, how the hell did they do that? It's a tiny sensor, but how? They do it though. It's better than any Canon camera, that's for sure. Even the cinema cameras. It's like it's the best image you could ever get. But good luck using it, dick. If someone wants to explain in a non-nerd-like fashion that regular people could understand why this tiny sensor of the Blackmagic has such amazing dynamic range, I don't even think it's that low megapixel, is it? Is it one of those 10, 10 suckers? Something magic in there, because that's what I love, the dynamic pleasingness. Windows not clipping, too much, at least. My guess is it's mostly due to the raw codec, and their codecs, they edit smooth, it's like a videographer's dream. That's what I am. That's what you're watching. I'm in a living room. It's a video. It's a movie. 
I haven't played with the files much at all, but it looks like best dynamic range, best colors, skin tones, just everything is so beautiful. But then when you go to use it, just everything, no flippy screen. They got the, they tease you with this giant screen that can't even tilt. I saw that one guy, there's a tilt hack. You have to buy it and like take apart your camera. Good luck with that. And then it flips up. Okay, you're halfway there. Not really, a fourth. No autofocus, not good autofocus. You could technically sit here, smartphone attachment, tap on your stupid face, you tap on your mouth, asshole. But then you can't do this. Oh, I feel bad for you. If you want to take it outside, now you have no stabilization, you need a stabilized lens or a gimbal, and you have to rig this thing up so stupidly with the big monitor, like imagine trying to vlog, like, okay, let's do this. You have to see yourself to manually focus. Unless you hook a smartphone up, that's stupid. That's gonna drain the shittiest battery on earth, by the way, faster. So like you need a monitor, a gimbal, and then you can manually focus somehow. When Gerald came over, he brought that rig as a joke. That wasn't a joke. That's what you have to do, that giant thing. That's the only way. It's the only way. I just brought you in a notch. You know what I had to do? I just had to move the camera. Sony auto-focused on me, boom. We're good to go. We're so good to go, stupid. So stupid, how good this is. So easy. Sure, it costs $45,000, Canadian. But it would never lose you, ever. If it does one time, why am I clipping? I think Blackmagic had a boardroom meeting on how to suck they had a new executive in the office, I think. All right, fellas, that was a fun movie night, huh? I wish we could make movies. I bet we could if we made a camera designed for movies. Do you, do you have any ideas? I have a couple ideas, boss. A little pocket 4K camera. Best autofocus in the business. Usability ahead of everything. Flippy screen, giant flippy screen. Good image but focus on the user and their fun having our camera in their pocket. Candace, I can't take you serious. You're too beautiful for this world. How could someone be so beautiful and smart at the same time? It, well, my beauty has no bounds that are measurable. The camera I just described to you is perfect in every way, especially the usability. So once you make it, I'll buy it. All right, Candace, I'm with you on this. Let's do this thing. Giant screen, we'll glue it, super glue it to the back. Autofocus, call Panasonic, see if we can borrow their system. They're pretty good from the rumors. All right, we're basically there. Put some raw video in there. Remove the IBIS mechanism. Gimbals are fun to balance. What do you think? It's a good one. I don't mind. Sounds like a nice camera. If you don't mind having your sack ripped off in the middle of the night, dropped in a bag of milk, a bag. I will drop it in a bag for my dogs. My dogs will eat your junk. You won't make my camera. Sony sees my left eye right now. That is, wow, that's impressive. It looks like Candace is as aggressive as Karen, if not more so, and that's worrying for the future of the boardroom meetings. I'm afraid. So for me, image quality was never the thing I was shooting for. It was always ease of use, best thing in the smallest size. This is it. I got the best thing in the smallest size, that's for sure. That is unarguable. You can't argue truth. Ow. Let's go into the pit of darkness and see what happens. What will Sony do with the ISO technology? Oh, it's rampant. It is rampant hard. Wow. It decided 204,000 was the best choice. Why aren't you adjusting? You can adjust anytime. Okay, shut the door. It looks like I have a flashlight on me. Oh, I do, the LCD screen. I'm a moron. That's amazing. I think it's 409,600. That's about as high as you can go. How's the autofocus perform? I think it performs. 
It's a little slow. I'm sending it back. So let me know what you think of black magic. Is the image quality so worth it for you that you're willing to rig it up and do all this crazy shit? Or is this the better option? Probably cost about the same once you rig everything up and then this weighs much less. Can't wait to test this thing. I'm curious to see if the Lawa 15 mil will be stabilized by the active stay because it doesn't seem to behave well. So uh, we will see lots of tests ahead. Let me know what you want to see. And thank you for buying a Fuji Assassin t-shirt. Scarf from Robert Alice. Yeah, thanks. Wow. That is, that's some donut.